An Iranian journalist and activist says she is being targeted once again after law enforcement officials arrested a man near her Brooklyn home. Officials say they found a suitcase containing a loaded AK-47 style assault rifle and an additional second magazine while searching the suspect's car last week. Journalist Masi Alinajad joins us now. She has been critical of the Islamic Republic and was also targeted in an alleged kidnapping plot last year separately. The indictment in this case is alleging the plot, uh, or in that case alleges the plot was organized by an Iranian intelligence official, but Iran's Ministry of Foreign Affairs denied any involvement, calling the accusation baseless and ridiculous. Massey, uh, it, it's great to see you not under the circumstances. You've been through so much. How are you feeling after this happened? To be honest, last year when I was here, it was a time when the FBI announced that they stopped the kidnapping plot. And I was like, okay, I'm safe. Finally, I'm going to enjoy my freedom in America to give voice to voiceless people inside Iran. But now I've been told a few days ago that I have to move from my house because this time a man was in front of my house with loaded guns to kill me. And I was like shocked because it's not about me. My stepchildren lived in the same house. And just imagine if the guy was like, uh, had opened fire, who knows how many of my neighbors would have been killed, my beautiful and supportive neighbors. So for me, it was shocking. I keep watching his, his video and uh, his face. I'm not scared of my life at all because I know what I'm doing. I have only one life and I dedicated my life to give voice to Iranian people inside Iran who bravely go to the street, face guns and bullets to protest against Iranian regime. But this is happening in America. This is happening second time. They try to assassinate, to kill and kidnap American citizen on US soil. So I'm not scared of my life, but this is a scary that happening in front of the eyes of the whole world, especially the US administration. What was your reaction when you first became aware of this, this stranger uh, outside your home with a gun? Look, the moment that the guy came to my house, I was on a Zoom meeting, very important meeting with Gary Kasparov and mm -hmm. Leopoldo Lopez about how the Russian government, the uh, dictators from Iran and Venezuela get united, how we can be united. So I was focused on my work. I didn't realize that. But when I learned from the FBI that he was there, I kept watching the image and I was like, wow, in here in front of my house in Brooklyn. And I saw the gun and I was like, my God, this is the gun being used by Russian uh, against the Ukrainian. Now it's, it's during the war, this gun being used many times, now being used in Brooklyn in front of my house. I don't have any weapon. My weapon is this. My weapon is in, it's my mobile. And I have like followers on my Instagram and my social media. I publish the videos of Iranian mothers who kill, the Iranian regime killed their sons. I just give them voice. I give voice to these women. I want to actually use your platform because you never see these women. This brave woman protested against forced hijab in the bus. That was her face. And Iranian regime brought her on TV in forced hijab last week. Sepide Rashno. She denounced herself on TV. She denounced me. Only last week, four women protested against forced hijab. I published their video. Their video went viral being watched millions times. And the government took them on Iranian national television, forced them in hijab saying that this is all about Massey, Massey being, mm. you. it's not about me. It's about Iranian brave women within the society. And all I do, I just give them a voice. In, in the case of this perpetrator, he's a resident of New York, um, walked right up to a video camera uh, on near your front door. Doesn't seem particularly smart to do that. Um, why do you see that he is linked to this former plot? How do you see this working out? What do you think police are going to find? That's a very good question. Look, I have only one enemy. First, they put my brother in jail to punish me. Second, they brought my sister on TV to disown me publicly. Third, they interrogated my mothers for hours and hours and asked her to take me to Turkey. If it was not my brother exposing this, I would have said and go there and hug my mom because I missed my, my family.
So, and then they arrested all these women and brought them on TV to disown me publicly. What it shows to you. I don't have any enemy. I'm not a criminal. So, of course, this is the Iranian regime. When the U.S. government do not take a strong action, of course, they feel more powerful to continue this. I see this as a pattern, mm. a continuation of oppressing women, oppressing dissidents outside Iran. Well, and it's clear that your voice is a threat to the autocracy. My voice is more powerful than their weapon. And, and my question to you is, as you look at, at current events unfold, you look at the new alliance, apparently, between Russia and Iran. Um, you look at the Biden administration trying to get democracies to stand up to autocracies. What do those alliances make you think about the, the threat that autocracies represent? That's a very good point. Look, all these dictators, they learn from each other. It's like they have a book and they follow all the rules. They assassinate people, Russian government, Venezuelan government. It's not about just me. If the U.S. government, the European, do not get united as much as the dictators are united, we're not going to be safe. Even you're not going to be safe. I'm an American citizen. I was practicing my freedom of speech. I left Iran to be safe here in America. In America. It has been one year I moved from different safe houses. I deserve to have, a, to have a normal life. The dictators are helping each other, but the democratic countries, no. My demand, I mean, I'm being very honest. It's clearly that the Iranian regime is watching me. They're reading my words. They're following me. I have only one message for them. Can I use your camera and talk to them? Please, go ahead. Which camera? I really, I know that they're listening to me. This one. Right there. I want to tell you, Get, go to hell. I'm not as scared of you. I have only one life. You care about power. I care about my dignity and freedom, like millions of other people inside Iran. I'm not as scared of you. You can kill me, but you cannot kill the idea. The idea is just fighting for freedom, dignity. And here I have a message for Biden administration. Shut down the Islamic Republic intersection. Throw out all the di Iranian diplomats. Why they are here? The Iranian regime twice challenged the U.S. government on U.S. soil. I deserve to have freedom in, in the United States of America. Kick them out. If you don't believe me, they're going to come after the more American citizens. Thank Massey, you so thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for giving me this platform. Appreciate it.